Hello everyone! So I just have a pretty quick video for you today, but I wanted to share the annotation process that I do with my really fun Bible garden. So just a few tips and tricks on how I decided to go ahead and do my Bible garden. I also want your opinion on an idea that I've actually already done half the Bible, but I wanted to know if you'd like to see me do either the spine or the back of the book, let me know down in the comments below, but let me move this aside. So I wanted your opinion and see if this is something you'd like to see, as it did take me quite a while. I mean, not super long, but it did take me about like an hour and a half. But I painted my leather Bible, and I'll probably put a poll up as well, but I'd love to hear your comments. But this is, I used stamps, and I also used uh, leather paint because this, this is a leather covered Bible, I wanted to make sure I used the right products. So leather paint, um, these are permanent stamps, but I don't think they're as permanent as they say. So I wish I used Stazon ink because I know that works well with leather, but I used a different ink and it works okay because um, I wanted more of like a kind of shadow effect and then I used the paint for the leaves and the flowers. So you'd like to see a process video on this I would be happy to do it um I most likely speed through it because yeah it's an hour and a half long probably um but this is the inside which I really love it I had this plain this is what it looked like you know you can see the back this is basically what it looked like it was very plain and very just ordinary and I love this bible so much and so I wanted to make it something special and praying to the Lord that I would not ruin it <laughs> and it turned out even prettier than I imagined so I love it if you'd like to see me do either the spine or the back I would be happy to do that with you all because I think it'd be fun and something that I think you would all love so let me know all right now let's get back into the original video all right so basically the tools that I have I, I have two different tools that I use well technically three but it's two I'll explain. All right, actually three. I like. Okay, so I actually keep all my pens in here, and I do not use them all. I really need to organize and just keep the ones that I actually use. So let me get out the ones that I actually use, so that way it'll be a little easier to share with you. So I really should get rid of all these, all those pens. Okay. So these are the ones that I use. I don't remember what blue I use. I think I just use that blue. All right. So basically, and these are my tools. All right. So first things first, I love these are paper make flares. They do not bleed through my Bible pages, except for some reason when I'm drawing underlining, it might bleed through like the end little dot. I don't know. Maybe I pressed too hard. <laughs> but so I use a couple different colors and I'll explain colors as well. And then I have Mr. Pen highlighters, I believe. All these came from the Pestel kit. But I coordinate my pen colors with my marker colors. So you see how they match because I like to highlight as well as underline. And I saw um, one of my fellow Bible journaler YouTubers, uh, Kat Woods, she underlined as well as highlighted. And I really like that. And I I correspond my colors together so I use those and I'll explain each color for my system and then I also use I have my sticky note which I keep forever in here this is my little carry-on case that I keep all my pens in I'm, I'm gonna organize it and only put in the pens that I'm using at the moment so this is my sticky note I put it on the back of my sticker thing so this is just a sticker book from um, uh, recollections this one this is actually two stickers this is actually a sticker sheet that I got from Michaels and this is a sticker book but I like to keep both together because that way I have them together and I can use them they actually almost are the same size so it works great but I have a system for both the hearts and the flowers and I'll show you that as well and I love this one because this sticker book has small flower stickers and that's what I love to use I love to use the little flowers in here. I don't use the big stickers too often, but just these little ones are absolutely perfect for what I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's get into here really quick. I'm not sure if I 
made a list actually in here, my color coding. No, I don't think I did. No. Okay. So <laughs> I thought I did, but that's okay. All right, let's go to an example here. All right, so this is a perfect example for my color coding system. So I have all four colors here. Not normally do I use all four colors in one, in just a few verses. Okay, so my flowers and my heart stickers are for certain things. My words of the year are love and joy and God's love and joy. So anything that describes uh, joy for the Lord or God's joy for us, it gets a flower. So the flower stands for joy, um, not the extra flowers like the decoration, just the small ones that usually end up by a verse. So um, for this one, be joyful in you is what that flower stood for, for that verse, which is uh, Psalm 5 verse 11, the last part of 11. And now you know that the blue stands for joy. So anything that describes joy in my Bible garden gets a blue. Um, and then if it has a pink, pink obviously would be for love. So anything that talks about love for us from God or our love for Jesus, that gets a pink plus it gets a heart. I don't do it all the time if I don't have room, but it gets a heart. So flower and a heart because this had both of my words of the year. So this one was for let those also who love your name. So it gets a heart sticker. So heart stickers are for love versus flower stickers are for joy. So that works out perfectly. All right. Um, the other color that I have, I think I said them all except, oh, purple. Purple is for blessings and promises. So anytime God says a blessing or a promise over somebody and he promises, you know, he promises to be with us or he promises that what, that what he says will come to fruition, anything that describes his promises gets purple. So this one is for, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. So as I said, blessings and promises. So that, so this verse was talking about blessings. So it got purple. And that is my cute little, um, little, whatever it's called, sticky note that I can reference back to make sure. Um, and then yellow, if there's not like a whole you know, a bunch of lines in between the verses that I highlight. Yellow is pretty much just a filler to just highlight the entire thing so I know it's all, you know, it's all part of it. Uh, I did have an orange highlighter, but it didn't really get anything to, um, to, yeah, it didn't, just didn't get anything, unfortunately, to be connected to it, but that's okay. So just pink, blue, purple, and yellow are the ones that I use. Yellow is just my filler, but it also means it's important too. Um, it's just not in, not a particular category, I would say. All right. And then I just use my coordinating, coordinating markers or pens. Um, but for this one, I actually only use my pink liner cause I didn't, I was, I was only going to do like a pink outline for like everything, but I was like, no, I want to coordinate my colors. So let me find something that coordinates actually with let's see see this one oops sorry <laughs> this one is purple highlighted and purple underlined so i know that it goes with that as well as this one pink with the pink underline so yeah that's what i've been doing and i've been really loving it so this is actually funny i did the colors of the rainbow or as close as i could with what colors i had for God's promise with the rainbow talked about in Genesis. So I thought that was kind of fun to do that. And then this entire purple section underlined in purple. So yeah, um, that's pretty much my entire process. There is kind of a little room for notes, but not really in this Bible. Um, unless you write really small, I know some people do, but I write pretty big. So unfortunately, um, not really for note taking. That's why I do like the the tip-ins or the journaling pages, you know, just some little things here and there. All right, so I, I have done a flip through of this entire Bible. I will link it down below if you want to check it out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to show my process. Maybe it will help you get a few ideas to help you dig into God's Word a little bit more. And if you didn't know about color coding, it's a great system to kind of look back and see, okay, like, like if I'm looking for verses on love, you know, I can just flip through and go, oh, you know, there's one because it's pink or, 
you know, I can go in and be like, you know, flipping through and, you know, that's a lot of pink, <laughs> but, um, but like this one, like this one had a ton of different, uh, this was Isaiah 43 and I pretty much marked the entire ver um, chapter there. So, or, no, not, not the whole entire chapter, but most of it. So, but I can go back and find out, okay, what are, what are the blessings that are talked about? What are the um, different things? So yeah, that's what I like and I really do enjoy doing it that way and I'm going to stick with it, at least in this Bible. So, okay, that's all I have for you today. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I will see you all on Sunday for our weekly planner.